Hello and welcome to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Today I'll be playing as everyone's favorite tree on spawn, Czechoslovakia. And you know you're in for a ball when the featured focuses are all generic military or industrial stuff. So what am I planning for Czechoslovakia? Well, we know that the big baby with the mustache is going to harass me for the Sudetenland, so I'm gonna try my hand at a survival run. But not with Mr. Benej, nor with these debuffs, because right now we have no manpower. Yay! And before you is the worst focus tree in the this particular DLC. We have the world famous Fort Branch and the focus that basically fixes the manpower thing. So what I'm gonna do is try to shut Mustache Head up by appeasing him with nothing. Humorously enough, I can stake my claim to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Notice how there's no reference to the Czechs in that name. Oh, and up here we have the instantly die decision. So because Adolf is going to hunt me down and force feed me bratwurst, I'm gonna ask a certain someone for help. Let me reiterate, we are not doing this focus. This focus is a death ticket. But anyways, join Stalin. You must bring history 10 years ahead. Also, Paradox, why is this guy still alive in May? He died on April 13th. I know you get an attacks through a focus, but it's still weird. And we shall waste no time and get right into preparing to flip. Wow, what a great focus description. So much thought must have been put into that one. And with our good friend Gustav hired, we get to see our good friend once again. Hopefully it doesn't take a year and a half to flip this time. And just like that, the Czechs and Slovaks automatically love each other. But enough kumbaya, I need more. Here comes a triple whammy. Firstly, we finish the forts, then we flip communist, and look who invites me to the party. Clement and Yo are the best of friends. And now we can take such fun territorial focuses that you don't even get to decide the effects of. Uh-oh, looks like I'm being surrounded. Hope my forts keep me safe. With the Romania thing agreed to, we can now go for the actually important target, Poland. So it turns out Stalin also got a war goal against Romania, and now he wants my help fighting all of the allies. So now Poland can move over, but I should add, why is Hitler in the event image when Stalin agreed to this? And Stalin made yet another blunder, and World War II has come early. Finally, the Red Army has taken Bucharest. And while Romania has capitulated, the fighting in Poland is split two ways. So this battle isn't anywhere near Poland, it's right here. God knows how few miles from Leningrad. Don't look now, it's go time. Screw off, Hitler. Oh, turns out the baby didn't like being told no. Let's just crack this first. Okay, so we've got this in the bag. Tanatuba's fighting with us. Surprisingly enough, there's been very few battles with the Germans so far. They're actually chickening out for the most part. Side note, I love Diplo pressuring my allies' enemy. Anyways, Stalin's been sucking on his big toe this entire war because look at this crap! The Polish have taken Minsk! Stalin, what the hell are you doing? I'd like to mention just how great these forts are for me. I've killed 33,000 Germans already and I haven't lost a tile. Try not to fail against the Polish challenge. Impossible. I don't know, you know where Putin drew his battle plans from, jeez. All while that's happening, I've been getting a collab on the Germans. Sadly, the Austro conspiracy event won't fire since the West betrayed me. Romania's basically back now. It's so bad that Stalin's withdrawing his expeditionaries. Two issues. One, Germany's bombing the ever-loving hell out of my forts. Two, I don't have enough mills to resupply my forces. Oh, keep sleeping, yo. They're only at the gates of Moscow and Leningrad. And of course he's going after Finland. Oh, oh, something interesting happened. Hungary's attacked, and they haven't had much time to really rearm, so let's see how it goes. Turns out my forces are just being swallowed by the grass, as 84,000 brave Czechoslovaks have been lost so far. So this game is going literally nowhere, so I'm gonna throw, but I need to make sure my man's okay with it. Now, here's something wacky. I'm getting embargoed, but why, you may ask? And no, it's not this. Turns out asking Salchak Toka to join his wars, which it didn't even add me in yet, I should add, has increased world tension 100.8%. Paradox, what on God's earth just happened? So Stalin's managed to push the Allies back a little bit, and now Leningrad and Moscow have some breathing room. So I finally got the Allies to fight me, and now I'm going to die with dishonor. Fret not, dear viewer, I'll speed up the process. Sit back and watch the country burn. I am finally free. <laughs> and hey, detonations can be awarded things too, I suppose. Before I go, here is my original plan. 
My original plan was for Stalin to invade Poland through that focus to get to Germany, thus diverting their attention away from me. Basically, we'd have to kill Poland in order to kill Germany. Not only did the Polish give Stalin a nasty beating, but too many countries got involved and that simple plan crumbled ridiculously quickly. Though, like I showed earlier, I was able to hold my own just fine. I was stronger than I'd anticipated, and though my air force was crippled, I was holding my own. You know who crapped the bed on this one? Stalin! All of this is his fault! And now, I'll shut up and get off my soapbox. In the end, Czechoslovakia isn't as bad as New Zealand. The tree does have a few ways to help you survive the German onslaught, even if it tries really hard to make you pacifist. Literally, no focus gives you a military factory, not a single one. But regardless, if you liked this video, please like and sub, you know the drill by now, drink your water, and stop falling over.